Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope you all are having a beautiful Tuesday morning. But if this is your first time here, I welcome you. And if you are returning, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, I wish you would consider hitting that subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden with you. So today, guys, it is miserably cold, windy, and just gray outside. But nevertheless, I thank God for it. But this is my cabbage. Now, this one here, I can feel the head is getting hard in there. It's developing. But... I want to share with you all the cabbage I'm going to harvest for New Year's. So this is the baby I'm going to harvest for my meal on New Year's Eve. And I'm going to bring some over to my little sister because I spend New Year's with her. Yeah, it will be wonderful. But all of the greens are loving this weather. But uh, yeah, y'all, it's cold. It's very cold out here. <laughs> Yeah, but I wanted to share with you all today my, um, I wanted to share my broccoli Romanesco with you all. So this is my, um, well, you see the wind just knocking all the plants down, you know, this is one of those um, tree collards. Yeah, but this is a broccoli Romanesco right here. And as you can see, she's developing in there. And, um, but you all know here, and that's more in my zone nine weather, I have not been able to achieve a broccoli Romanesco. Nope. <laughs> I've tried many, many times and there they are. You can see that they are about to bolt. So if you don't know what bolting is, bolting is from seed to seed. And here is a picture of a broccoli Romanesco when she is ready to harvest. It's a beautiful vegetable. It tastes like broccoli, but it has a lemony, a lemon hint to her. She just have her own characteristics all by herself. She's just delicious. And um, I don't know anyone have achieved uh broccoli romanesco in my zone and you know that's one thing i haven't asked mr george about and you can see look at that it looks like this one is bolting already i've tried many ways to stop my plants from bolting and uh look at q <laughs> little q even she feel my heartache over this vegetable because i have tried over and over again to get this wonderful vegetable to grow here in my zone but you know evidently it's not meant to be but also I'm going to share with you all my cardone and she is really getting big this plant is so healthy uh, she feels strong she have a, a leathery feel to her uh, but cardone's uh or some wonderful plants and I had some uh, leaves that had turned yellow from the weather and oh yeah you see those morning glories growing in this weather but what I did with those leaves yep there they are I put them in my super juice and as you can see I took my friend Laird Farmer 73 I took his tip and I put some banana leaves in my super juice and yeah, look at that water. <laughs> but this is my starter pot with my tatsoi and uh, all kinds of vegetables in here. But this tatsoi is just a beautiful, beautiful plant. It is so beautiful. My two grandkids and I just took some petals off and just ate it. It was delicious. Yeah. But anyway, guys, you all have a wonderful day.